character. Like he's just yeah. he's has a lot of like really good strengths. Uh, but there's some weaknesses that character has where you feel like you're not able to do what other characters do at all, namely mobility. Yeah, like I feel the same way because like sometimes Corn has issues like that. But like, no, yeah. none, none of those characters. Been two top tiers. Different reasons, obviously, <laughs> between the ground mobility yeah. and the air mobility. But like, yeah, we were pretty decent on the floor and uh, Corn, not the worst air mobility. But we've seen Sheik Sonic right now. Yeah. Uh, this is a lot of mobility. It's oh, too yeah. much mobility. She gets. <laughs> Lord, Lord knows that when this character was had the scary kill confirms, she she was by and far the best because of all that and the mobility that compounded it. Now obviously just have a little bit of trouble killing um, Sonic though, as well. All that mobility and still you know maybe a little bit easier time killing than Sheik, but a character that can still struggle to kill. Yeah, I don't think uh, early kill power is gonna be a big factor in this matchup. It's yeah. gonna be separate kills like that. No right, about okay. to say. Yeah, it's okay. It's Jen jumping away smartly. It's my favorite. Sonic can, like, off a of grab, turn into both Mewtwo and DK. It's, it's, <laughs> my, it's my favorite. Yeah, we're not going to get that. We're not going to yeah. see the up throw up there's anymore because it looks like Jen's at too high of a percent. Ooh, that back air. Wow, wow the missed okay. but just barely going to live that. Bouncing Fist shifting his hurt box inward. Going to be able to continue that stock. Oh, what a call wow. out. You really don't see that move that much anymore except for hard call outs like that. And Six is like, you're going to jump here. Yeah, no, and exactly. Sex, we saw that actually in doubles. He was doing that pretty mm -hmm. consistently, calling out jumps, and getting stocks. In fact, won a 2v1 because of it. And, I mean, it's working out him for in this match versus Jen. It's not a very favorable move for Sonic players, I hear, because of how sometimes you can fall out of it. But uh, he seemed pretty confident it would work and Ooh. pay it off. Wow, and the jump above ledge right there actually gave Six stage control after going past that ledge. Such a good mix up by him. Jen looking for the back air, trying to send Six off the stage. This is the true test of the Sheik player right now, is that can you convert into a kill right now on the Sonic, or else he's going to get too much percent on you from residual damage, just straight hits, and you're going to die pretty quickly. Because that Sonic is has a lot, decent amount of rage now. now and we're going to have to see if, if a Sheik that's, you know, maybe not all that seasoned, just because this is still a fairly new character for Jen. Mm -hmm. He has had it for a little, or sh her for a little while now. But it's not a season as like a Sheik, like, let's say, because Dill has had, had the character for, for months and months and months. Oh, of course, yeah. Back air? Yeah, a back air, but again, Sheik's back air is super weak, and that looks like a miss input. Yeah, I don't know what that was supposed input. to be, but... I, I was trying to do it off the stage, be reverse needles, something right there from Jen. He's trying to chase a little too hard right now, and these grabs, while they are putting on a little bit of damage and keeping Sonic at the ledge, they're not doing their job. Like, Sheik's not 50 now, 63. Like, you're still on your first stock, and Sonic's at 150. You gotta do something. No, right, you have to get a kill yeah. at this moment. That SS probably would have taken it. Stray hits are not gonna do it. Uh oh, not gonna kill this yet, but it's oh, gonna come wow. dangerously Jeez. close. Sheik is super light, and that's a max rage Sonic on Smashville. That's gonna be an smash that. But we're gonna finally punish with that forward smash coming from Sheik. And um, this is still possible. Sheik has that damage racking capability that you know can even up this game within like about 30 seconds. So oh, of course, if she takes the first stock, she could definitely rack up damage once again and just come back and make it at least look more even. But you have to deal with that same issue. The second wow, the same thing. He's been missing like, DIing that back air quite often. That, that might set. have been a fresh. I think it's just a fresh back air. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean, it is an incredibly strong move. That move is yeah. like 13%. And it doesn't really stale in power either. It is a weak hit, but like, uh, yeah. it's not that much weaker <laughs> than the original <laughs> hit. The so. amount of times I have gotten killed by weak Sonic back air and been super salty. It's I'm just like, that's, the, that's, weak that's the weak hit? Mm -hmm. No, yeah. Definitely, um, System X abusing all Sonic's strengths right there. Getting those early kills earlier than Sheik anyway. It doesn't look like we're gonna see a switch to Ryu in this set. It looks like Jen's really uh No yeah, it is he wants to solo Sheik, that's it. No yeah, I mean he Jen has said in the past, while Sonic is not Ryu's worst matchup, it is bad. It is not good. It can be pretty hard, yeah. Um and he uh, he does think that Bayo is Ryu's worst. But um Sonic does obviously have all the mobility in the world while Ryu is fairly limited. And um, Sonic takes full advantage of that. And a character like Sheik obviously gives Jen the chance to, you know, maybe dance around Sonic a little bit more. But so far, we've just been seeing the cross-ups like that by 6WX have been so effective. Just because Sonic's so gosh darn fast. 6 has always been about, yeah, pressuring people with, like, moving in and out of the ranges really quickly. And just making you feel like you're supposed to throw out an option to stop him. And then he just punishes you. It's the classic aggressive Sonic, which is... Not super aggressive necessarily, but yeah, it, it feigns a lot of aggression. Uh, Six definitely knows when, when when to hold it back. Obviously, he's not going to be like the, the wrath the wrath esque Sonic. Who's well, I'm saying is because a true aggressive Sonic doesn't actually work. No, right? Yeah, I, I never it have doesn't. to agree. But like, it, it, have the it, it is that that bait, that bait and punish style of play that really 
does work to Sonic's advantage. Mm -hmm. And again, it does feign an aggressive style of play. Yeah. Ooh, that up you right there. Nice, nice trump, but Jen still got a lot of work cut out for him. He's not dead yet, so he can definitely. Oh, but and the right there. forget it. I hate commentators, Chris. <laughs> yeah, it, it has been happening a consistent yeah. uh, amount of today, especially from for myself. And now you're you fall victim <laughs> to it as well. Um, I just stopped commenting. Oh, he's not dead yet. Because, like, this is Smash 4. Sometimes you die. Sometimes you, you <laughs> just, just die. The, the number in the bottom doesn't always tell you how much health you have left. Yes, indeed. And yeah. a, a character like Sonic, obviously, is getting taken. Most of his stocks pretty late, but has the potential to take some early. And right now, I mean... Six is uh, running away with it really hard. Yeah, yeah. back air or an F smash. Oh, oh that's wow. Be wow. Okay. Wow, Six has just been on I mean, top. Confident, yeah. Yeah, of Jen that whole set. And takes it, you know, in the fashion, as you mentioned, dominant. Oh. Totally no. One sec. Alright. Frozen gonna dip for a little bit. So next up is gonna be Venia versus the Buzz. Oh, God, six o'clock already. Jeez. Venia versus the Buzz. This is a matchup that Venia has wanted to play for Very a while. Long time. Yes. The Buzz. Um, as I have mentioned in the past, um Venia does think that Greninja beats Rosa. And as does the Buzz. Reflected in the Buzz's most recent matchup chart, yeah. He said it was like 55-45 or something? Yeah. It was like a close it's advantage. A, cl a close advantage. Yes. I don't like, know if I'm ready to believe it just yet. I don't know either. We don't really but. see it. Well, at the same time, like, when is the last time you've seen Greninja Rosa? Personally. Probably Stroder Fallen at like a MSM yeah. or something. It's been a long It's time. been a hot sec. Yeah, so. I'm, I'm always of the train of thought that. that like, when you're not sure about a matchup versus Rosa, when in doubt, Rosa, Rosa wins. Rosa yeah. Probably, yeah. She, she, invali <laughs> she invalidates a lot of the cast. But Greninja is not a character that she invalidates at all. Like, no, she has no. A, no. Greninja has so much mobility. Uh, options to kill Luma. Uh, options to edge guard her. Uh, can landing trap her pretty decent. Lingering too. moves. Yeah. yeah. And Greninja has the advantage state to not just get juggled by Rosa forever. Uh, you have a surprisingly underused option by a lot of Greninjas. It's uh, up to escape. Venya does it a lot.